It's no longer news that disgraced Gucci master Hush Poppy has signed a plea deal with the US Department of Justice that he got himself exposing some Nigeria VIPs. The internet fraudster had begun naming members of his cybercrime syndicate as well as individuals that benefited from his large G's when the fraud business was still booming. In July 2021, the fraudster mentioned at least five names including Nigerian supercorp Abba Kiari, who reportedly received 8 million naira in a dirty deal with him and is now facing extradition by Interpol. With several caught in the FBI net's courtesy of snitching Hush Puppy, Fear has been sent down the spine of some of his former celebrity friends who are not prepared to share a prison cell with him. One after the other, they have begun to dissociate themselves from both Hush Puppy and his fraudulent businesses on social media. Taking the lead is a popular media personality, Daddy Freeze, who in several videos on his Instagram page has ferociously been declaring that he never benefited financially from Hush Puppy. The leader of the Free, the Shippu movement, has equally gone ahead to blame Nigerian Christians and pastors for pushing him to become friends with Hush Puppy. Freeze is not the only one in this boat. The likes of ex-senator Dino Malaye, Money Man, Momfa, David O and others have reportedly been dissociating from Hush Puppy in their own unique style. Does being friends with a fraudster validate the saying, birds of the same feather? Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. Once upon a time, Ramon Olonwa Abbas, better known as Hush Puppy, ruled social media, especially Instagram, with his extravagant lifestyle. He was known for entertaining his over 2.5 million followers with a kind of luxury that has never been seen before. He would share photos of himself traveling in private jets and helicopters, riding in the latest cars, posing in customized jewelry hand delivered to him, and many more photos of himself clad in designer clothes to a point where he began to get a front row seat at their fashion shows for being one of their best customers. Soon, Hush Puppy became known as the Gucci master and a big spender. But as his fame grew, so did many celebrities scramper to become his friend. You all know that saying that money has many friends. This was the case for the fraud star. The Nigerian big boy rode with the creme de la creme in Nigeria, from top politicians to A-list celebrities. Sadly, following Hush Puppy's arrest in Dubai in June of 2020 and his decision to accept a plea deal that will see him snitching on anyone found worthy by the FBI, many of his celebrities and politicians' friends finally began to dissociate themselves from the Gucci man. Daddy Freeze Coming top of the list is the popular on-air personality, Daddy Freeze. Sometime in 2019, Freeze got a special invite to tour Hush Puppy Dubai home and like anyone presented with a rare opportunity, he accepted the offer. He left the shores of Nigeria with his fiancée, taste buds and together they wined and dined with the now famous fraud star. In several videos that went viral, Hush Puppy could be seen giving them a tour of his apartment where he proudly mentioned that his housekeeper earns 250,000 naira per month and his driver earns 700,000 a month. As the fraud star boasted, Freeze defended him saying he's a legit hustler living largely on his earnings as a real estate developer. At some point, Freeze could be heard throwing a shade at those trolling Hush Puppy, asking them to let their fathers come and work as the fraud star's driver. My salary, <laughs> my, the salary my driver collects almost near commission and salary. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I swear. They collect money past local government chairman. Hmm. That's it. Hmm. Show now they here. Hold on, now we are used. They collect to five. That's one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. They ever they collect seven hundred thousand. Hmm. So. Instead of make you beg us, puppy, maybe if you use your papa to drive uh, They're not going to <laughs> But not true now. Your papa de village, you don't get work. You go do social media, they abuse you. I'm a bank manager. <laughs> A year and a few months later, it looks like Freeze has officially put an end to his friendship with Hush Puppy as he denounces him on social media. Taking to his Instagram page to respond to trolls saying he'll be going down with Hush, Freeze said that he is highly disappointed in Hush Puppy for spreading rumors that it was legit hustle, adding that if the FBI comes for him for befriending the fraudster, he is ready to defend himself. According to him, 
He has nothing to hide as he never collected a dime from Hush Puppy. For their addressing his friendship with Hush Puppy, the leader of Free Nation Church blamed the wickedness in the church for pushing him to dine with people like Hush Puppy and Bob Brisky. He said that the fraudster was a lovely and warm person who showed him love when he was surrounded by wickedness from the Nigerian Christians and pastors, adding that if the church had stood by him in his trying times, he would never have answered Hush Puppy when he called. Freeze's decision to denounce Hush Puppy has not gone down well with a lot of Nigerians and they have camped on his page, urging him to stop confessing like a wizard caught in the act, also advising to resist the urge to Shalai. They asked Freeze to wait until the FBI summoned him. Momfa also addressing Hush Puppy arrest and his new decision to accept a plea deal, his ex-best friend and suspected fraudster, Momfa, blamed Hush Puppy's downfall on his unwarranted stubbornness and refusal to listen to the advice of his friends. Insisting that he is no longer friends with Hush Puppy, money man Momfa seized the opportunity to address those saying he is next. Referencing the time EFCC arrested him over allegations of fraud in 2019 and rearrested him in 2020, Mumfa said the FBI interviewed him and found nothing incriminating against him. People say any way happened to us, people will link me with because if I don't bring them, you understand, all these things will come my side. But on a normal level, you get you get my point. But the only thing we just come up is say. You know this thing, and it is stubborn. So this life, if um, if something happens to somebody, you're supposed to use your brain. Say, what to be the next thing? Dino Melaye. Dino Melaye has also begun to denounce Osh Puppy. The former senator representing Kogi West Territorial District was very good friends with the fraudster when the going was still good. He even invited him to his Dubai birthday bash in 2019 when they were captured being all chummy. At the time, reports had it that Hush Puppy was helping him and other Nigerian politicians launder stolen public funds. So, many were not surprised when he denounced Hush Puppy immediately after his arrest in 2020. He shared a photo of himself and the Instagram big boy with a caption that reads, The company you keep is not always a reflection of who you are, which many figured are just a way of debunking the popular saying, Show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. Coming after Hush Puppy accepted a plea deal, the former senator has reportedly began to ask people to stop sharing photos of him and the fraudster for fear of being targeted by the FBI. Shockingly, Dino has denied this report. Also, addressing those claiming Hush Puppy laundered $31 billion for him, he has asked them to give him just $1 million from the audio money while dashing them the rest. I just read now for Twitter and Instagram. Say the talk say Hush Puppy helped Dino Belay in London at one uh, million dollars. I said thirty one million dollars. Hey, I beg. Out of that thirty one million dollars, I dash thirty million dollars out. Then I carry thirty million dollars. Just bring one million dollars alone. Don't do me. Out of that thirty one million dollars, that phantom audio that one million dollars where Hush Puppy London for me. Make Kuna carry 30 million, don't give me the 1 million dollars, that's all I need. I beg you, make Kuna help me. Kuna just bring the 1 million dollars, I beg, I wait for her. Uh, because they say America, FBI will do for me, oh. now two months I do for America, oh. uh, maybe they forget to arrest me for airport, on all loose. I mean, come over road, make I go drink this over there. David O. David O is one of the many celebrities who wined and dined with Osh Puppy. His brother, Adewale Adeliki, was also good friends with the disgraced fraudster to the point where he invited him for his wedding ceremony held in Dubai in 2019. But now, coming after Hush Puppy's plea deal, David O has figured that he will not look good in an orange jumpsuit and cannot amass more baby mamas from prison. As such, he has refused to be associated with the fraudster in any way. Of course, he is yet to voice this out loud, but fans can see him doing it in his own unique style. His personal logistics manager, Israel DMW, had recently taken to his Instagram page to defend Abba Kiari on his indictment in the ongoing case against Ahosh Papi. He wrote, I am fully standing with Abba Kiari. The man is a clean cop. He has fully tried and is still trying in aspects of fighting wild armed robbers and kidnappers. Kindly tell me who is a saint in this our Nigeria. Coming after this post, 
David O has now decided to sack Israel DMW as a way of distancing himself from Hush Puppy. Speaking with his lawyer, David O said that the only letter he wants to read is the Israel sack letter. Meanwhile, it is expected that more celebrities will denounce Hush Puppy as a self-claimed investigative journalism. Kemi Olun Loyo becomes the agent of doom. In several videos on social media and interviews, she promised that the FBI and Interpol are working on arresting celebrities who befriended Hush Puppy before it was taken down. How true this information remains a subject of controversy. Nonetheless, a great number of Nigerian celebrities have become shaken with fear. So tell us guys, what do you think about celebrities who have begun distancing themselves from Hush Puppy?